Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Saturday, day three, professional panhandlers. And I'll tell you what, I didn't go there yesterday. I watched Facebook, all the different groups and all the different conversations. I didn't go there. But today I decided enough, no more. So I made up my own sign and I went out there and I stood in front of them, as you're about to see, with my sign that said, professional panhandler ahead. It worked. They ran off like rats. I also learned something else. They are switching tags. So these criminals, and now I can say that, these criminals are switching out their tags. Day one, they had a temporary Colorado tag over an actual Colorado tag. And today, as you'll see, they had Texas tags. An actual Texas tag. So they must have multiple license plates that they're using, that they're switching out. And uh, yeah, I, I can't believe I caught that. I'm glad I did. Just got a little crazy. Day three. Panhandlers, same ones, out of gas, at Walmart. They've spent the last three days, 90 degree heat, panhandling with their children. I got a new car. Not gonna tell you what kind just yet. But anyway, you saw my sign. I'm going to go stand in front of them and warn people about this going on. Day three, Iron Mountain, Michigan. Day three. Earlier the lady was out here. Now the guy's just out here with his kid, it looks like. waving yeah I don't know where the rest of the family is I believe they're back in the van or they're over there by that tree same place they were before anyway I'm thinking about just pulling up here by this uh, green dumpster setting up the camera this camera on the dash taking the sign that you just saw and go stand out in front of them because this is bullshit after three days these people are still here doing this shit. That was on purpose. Can you blame them? I'm just gonna go out there and protest my freedom of speech, my constitutional right as an American to protest what I don't think is right. I hope it doesn't rain too hard on you guys, but I am going out here now I'm going to hold up a sign that tells people the truth about what they're doing. Day three. I don't know, but I'm walking this way now. I don't know if that worked or not, but... Don't know if that worked or not. 
Well, the fun part is I got a camera in that in that car going too. Although I'm about to go out of frame of it right about now. Huh? They're leaving. Where'd mom go? Huh? Ah, oh, guys, they're done. We'll see you tomorrow. Shit. Now I know how to do it. The first day I came with the camera, they were just laughing at me and I uh, had nothing. Now all of a sudden, look at this, they're packing up. I don't see anybody else in the van, so where's the rest of the family? Where'd the family go? I bet they're at the hotel. Yeah. I figure the first day they made at least 500 bucks. He's gonna go that way, but he's got temporary tags. Well, I don't know if you just saw what just happened, but uh, they left. They got in their car, they took off. Leaving Michigan and going to Wisconsin. Bye-bye. The van right there, they just parked it. So, 10 minutes later, they came back, parked the van. I went home, got a different car. If you look up to the right, close stoplights, there's a person out there with a the sign. Another one under a tree. And the people in the van are just, uh, I guess, waiting. Weird, huh? So the van is at the stoplight right there, making a left out of the parking lot, leaving them kind of high and dry, if you know what I mean. Sounds good to me. <laughs> so I'll have you know that uh, as you just see the Texas tags, that's all the video I got. I had a camera, I thought it was running, I thought it was filming. It was not, but there was these two people that had come up to him and they were talking to him. I grabbed my camera and that other gentleman was there and we ran up. The boy was by the tree. He gathered up everything he had. He ran to his mom and they both ran to that van with Texas tags, jumped in with the father driving and drove off. I wish I would have caught that because it was a very dramatic exit that they did. And it was really strange the way they did because they didn't do it the first day, but they chose to do it the third day. And again, I caught them. They're switching their tags out. They have multiple different state tags in their vehicle and they're switching them out. So yes, I am upset about panhandling criminals in my town, taking advantage of the people around here and acting like they need help. Today they weren't out of gas. Today they needed help with rent and food. They don't even live around here. On Facebook I seen a comment that they were in Culver's today eating lunch. Culver's. Their food isn't cheap. Culver's eating lunch. Hmm. Crazy, huh? Anyway, I won't stop. Seems like I found a new way to uh, scare these people off or at least drive them out of town. So when the next one comes, I will be right back out there. So guys, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, make a comment below. Am I doing the right thing? What are you doing? Hey, come back here, I'm talking. Hey, come back here, I'm talking. Yeah, you, you. Are you a subscriber? Did you subscribe? Hey. Are you a subscriber? You better be.